Hey guys, Lazy E here from Lazy E Modding. Going to be going over actually how to paint trees with uh, paint mesh mode in Giants Editor 9 for Farming Simulator 22. So, this is something that's been out there. There's been some videos on it, but from the videos I watched, I couldn't really understand it. Um, I finally was able to get my head wrapped around it. So, I figured just for the sake of the community I just go ahead and make one be able to have it out there for you guys be able to use whenever you guys need it so I guess without further ado we'll get started so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your map that you're working on in Giants Editor um, give it a minute be patient with Giants Editor it does like to crash so don't try to rush it um, and then you're gonna import a tree in so you'll go to file down to import and then you'll bring it up here so you'll find wherever your farming simulator 22 folder is most of the time it will be under your files x86 and then you'll go to data maps trees and then you'll select which one you want to use here um, so in this case we'll do an oak a stage 2 oak so what the different stages are are different uh, heights of the tree that are already preset within the i3d file so we're going to do a mid size here and we'll it's imported it so I got it selected over here into the scene graph panel I'll hit control B and I'll place it right there so as you can see it is select it is there that is the tree those are ones I tried on earlier that the video didn't work out on uh, so anyway so now that we have this tree here we're going to paint this area of these little trees here so go here click it it has oak stage 2 selected um, I'm not sure how I haven't tried with other tree or like groups of trees yet but um, I got stage 2 selected of the oak tree you'll go up here to um, the orange paint tool with a blue uh, medium I guess is what it would be uh, click it and as you can see now this cursor is kind of popped up kind of what it looks like um, whenever you're painting something onto a map and if you go down into the train editing tools you'll have what they uh, sorted as mesh painting you have your distance max distance minimum so that's going to be your minimum distance that they're apart and the maximum distance they're apart um, slope limit start slope limit end I have not messed with those I've just kept them at 0 and 91 um, scale limit max and scale limit minimum so if you want a little bit of variation within the trees itself that's what you select as uh, this I have it to where it can either get 25% bigger or 25% smaller that just allows for some variation without me having to scale each individual tree if you hit align to terrain um, they will always align the I guess what would be the y-axis with the terrain so if you're painting them in a ditch, they will point straight out of that ditch. So I turned that off, um, but I do have random Y rotate on. That way, so it is easier to um, just have a different one apart. So we're gonna paint this area real quick here. So as it pulled up here, you can literally just drag the cursor across and you can just paint them wherever. Um, yes, it gets a little laggy at times, especially um, if you're trying to pop several down at a time um, which I will probably end up redoing this and making them a little bit smaller or tighter together here um, which I'll do that right now so I'm going to take this distance maximum in and I'm going to take it down to we'll go with 8 and then we'll change the distance minimum to 4 and then we will go back up here and select our train mesh paint tool make sure you have the tree you want to paint selected it will paint other things it will make a mess of your maps trust me that's coming from experience so as you can see now it's they are a lot closer together um, than they were painting over here so anyway that is this simple tutorial hope it helps you guys um, if you guys haven't make sure to like and subscribe to lazy e modding on Facebook why Facebook why did I say Facebook um, on YouTube be getting I want to I would like to get close to a thousand followers or like 58 or something so 
still got a ways to go, but every subscription helps. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, message me on Facebook with what you guys would like to see. Other than that, thank you guys.